Today I'm going to show you how to turn a black and white image to color in Photoshop. I first make a new layer and I change the blend mode to color. I then pick a soft brush and start with a non-saturated color. I will paint usually in one layer the entire illustration. So right now I am illustrating just the background, the large elements, the color, and then later I will focus on the details. And I don't want to illustrate the whole thing one color because that ends up becoming more of a dull color. So the shades you want to do like darker and I like to change my color when I go darker to a colder color just slightly. After I fill in this layer with all of the different colors, I usually turn the opacity down and then create a new layer and on the new layer I change the blend mode to overlay and this allows me to be able to come in and create darker colors and lighter colors which really help when coloring from black and white to color. I also usually illustrate with a desaturated color and slightly darker than the color that I want to create because overlay, when you illustrate with overlay, it usually warms everything up naturally and makes things lighter. When you are working in the color layer, don't worry about the colors looking too ugly or too saturated um, because you can always turn down the opacity when you're done with the coloring. To bring down the opacity will allow the illustration to not look so bright. And that's when I move into the overlay layer, I can come back in and add more bright colors where I want the colors to be more saturated. So now I'm going to speed up the process so you can watch me illustrate all the different colors and then later I will come back and talk a little bit more about the overlay layer. Now that my illustration is mostly colored, I will take that layer, the colored layer, and I will change the opacity down a little bit to dull some of those colors. Then I will change the new layer to overlay and paint back over it. Um, the new layer, I don't have to focus on painting all the colors over again. I usually use that one to just enhance colors, either by making them darker and richer or lighter and to add more contrast. Once I am happy with all of the new work and colors that I've added in the overlay layer, I then create a new layer, and on the new layer, I just start painting with my paintbrushes. And this allows me to add extra detail, clean lines, and add extra color that the overlay or the color layer do not allow me to. And then finally, I sometimes add a few extra filters for contrast and color correction, and that is how I turn a black and white illustration to color in Photoshop. So again, I will speed up the process so you can see me working in the overlay layer. At the end of the video, you will see the final version.
I just wanted to add a few last final thoughts. When you are coloring over a black and white image, it is often handy if you use the eyedropper tool to take a sample of the black and white image. This will help you match the same value to your color. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.